A United States Environmental Protection Agency study found that each weekend about 54 million Americans mow their lawns, consuming 800 million gallons of petrol each year and emitting high levels of carbon dioxide, volatile organic compounds and nitrous oxides, accounting for up to 5% of the United States air pollution. Additionally, new petrol powered lawnmowers produce more volatile organic compounds and nitrous oxide emissions in one hour of operation than 11 cars operating for the same period of time. With similar emissions in the UK and other countries, isn't it about time we did something about lawn mowing? Let's take a look. Welcome to EMS Mastery, where we look at the strategies and tactics to be successful in environmental management. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Andrew Marlow. Firstly, a confession. I own a petrol lawnmower. So I have directly contributed to some of the volatile organic compounds, carbon dioxide and nitrous oxides in the atmosphere here in the UK with an estimated 88 kilograms of carbon emitted each year for my lawn mowing. Why did I choose a petrol lawn mower about 10 years ago? Well, it was the optimum option at the time. I had a manual hand push lawn mower but couldn't keep up with the physicality of mowing our large area of lawn, despite it being a good option for low carbon emissions, which are estimated to be about 10 kilograms of carbon, and the low noise levels, not to mention the healthy exercise. An electric mower was not an option, as the electricity supply was not readily available to the garden, and I had concerns about the long lengths of mains cable needed, as well as the ever-present danger of electrocution if you mowed over a live electric cable. Although the electric lawn mowing would have emitted about 14.4 kilograms of carbon per year, only slightly higher than the manual hand push mower, and it would certainly have been a lot better than our petrol mower. So the petrol mower it was. But now there is a new breed of lawnmower, which brings many of the advantages of an electric lawnmower without the length of mains cable to worry about and is zero emissions at point of use. It is easy to unpack coming out of the box and weighing only about 13.4 kilograms without its battery. And it comes complete with a battery, battery charger and the manuals. It is almost fully built with a simple turn screw arrangement to complete the handle into its upright position. The battery came with about 50% charge, but it is good to fully charge the battery before its first use. This initial charge took about 60 minutes with a full charge rated at about two hours. Once built and with a newly charged battery, it was ready for a full test across a fully grown lawn which had not been mowed for over five weeks. Our initial test of the lawnmower will be across a split lawn and a further grassed area covering approximately 300 square metres. The mower starts with a press of the on button and a grip on the safety handles. The mower has an interlocked safety handle which cuts out the blade when you release the grip. It is relatively quiet in use and is rated at 94 dBA under mixed use and is certainly less noisy than our previous petrol mower under the same conditions. So it's good to see that noise pollution is well controlled. It cuts the grass very easily and can cope with relatively tall grass on its highest setting at four as well as a good lawn length at either one or two. Overall, our mower ran for approximately 40 minutes on a full charge and cut out at approximately 2%. During that time, it made a top cut of our heavily overgrown lawn covering approximately 300 square metres in our real world test. Now for some 
helpful environmental tips to get the best out of your lawn mowing. First is to ensure that the blade is sharp at the beginning of the mowing season to ensure that the cut is as efficient as it can be and to reduce energy use. Secondly, if you can leave the excess grass to mulch on the lawn, it returns much needed nutrients including nitrogen to the soil and helps to retain soil moisture. Additionally, it can act as an efficient carbon sink. In a recent NASA study, it showed that leaving grass clippings to decompose on the lawn will lead to the storage of 16.7 teragrams of carbon each year for the estimated lawn areas in the United States alone. So, there you are. A new way to mow air lawns that is both efficient for the user as well as zero emissions at the point of use. Something that will help with the reduction of our carbon emissions as well as improving the local air quality. Subscribe to this YouTube channel to ensure that you don't miss out on other episodes on environmental management and sustainability. Until then, thank you for listening. If you enjoyed this video, you can watch other episodes by clicking on the boxes in the top and bottom right, and you can click on the circle on the left to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.